Good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of Randy's Rants. Uh, it is uh, Monday, June 1st. Like Bone Thug says, it's the first of the month. Get up, get up, get I don't know the rest of the song, so don't fucking judge me, you fucking dicks. But um, a lot of shit going on, a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of changes. Well, you know, at least for me. Fucking really enjoying this fucking new schedule that I got. It leads me to work out in the afternoons. In the mornings, you know, uh, gives me more time, especially to do these episodes as as well and doing stuff like that. But also uh, starting to get back on my grind, especially getting the fucking belly down, you know. Finally, finally getting back on my run. Uh, doing, uh, probably wake up again tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, get a four-mile run in. Then after, eat some, eat some fucking food and shit like that, you know. You always got to keep your body, body fueled, you know. You know, I feel like those... Uh, the, those diets were less calories, less that. Um, I feel like if you're not exercising, that's definitely uh, that's definitely one. You we want to lower your calorie intake, but if you exercise, walk, whatever whatever the exercises are, if that's what you're doing, then you know what. Make sure you get the calorie intake up because you're gonna need that strength. You're gonna need all that. You know your body's gonna burn fuel. It's gonna want fuel. You know. Um, uh, not only that, sometimes I always say also keep your body guessing. So some days do do a fasting. Fast for 16 hours straight. Eat breakfast in the morning sometime. You know, you can skip it, but you never want to do something the same. You don't want your body always uh, acclimating, getting used to it. So you always want to keep it guessing. Like, oh, I'm going to eat breakfast today. Oh, guess what? I'm not doing that in your body. It just uh, keeps your body guessing to the point where it doesn't get used to anything, you know. So, um Definitely doing that. Uh, drinking more fucking water. Uh, if you if you're starting in this too, I'm gonna tell you this: learn how to drink water for water. With how it is, you know. Don't don't go for much to the taste. Kind of drink it like tequila or something. You know, when you're drinking straight from the bottle, hard liquor, you kind of want you just need to take those chugs quick, 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 and not even think about it because the moment you lag, you that, that's when like bad tasting water or you know really kind of can fucking um can get to you where it's like you don't want to drink no more so you got to drink like liquor you got to go with those big chugs and just go keep going go 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 you know you gotta and you also gotta force yourself to drink water definitely i always say force yourself to drink water force yourself to drink water every 30 minutes every however so often it, it, it don't matter how, how often just make sure you're drinking Drinking that water, all right? Uh, I say if, if you're not active, I'll say do an, uh, a gallon, gallon and a half. If you are active, do two to 2.5 gallons. Always keep your body, even though, hey, I'm going to tell you this, you're going to pee frequently. I'm going to tell you that. You are going to pee a lot. When I mean a lot, more than 10 times a day. I guarantee you. You'll probably piss sometimes two times, two, twice or three times in an hour. Why? Some people forget um, that uh, when you drink a lot of water, your body's um, throwing out the excess water that it doesn't need. You know, that's why um, when you're dehydrated, you drink something, you don't pee. It's because your body is dehydrated. So it's hold, it's going to hold on to anything till you give it enough to flush out. So let's say if you got to pee for a drug test or whatever. Drink a shit ton of water. Don't think you're a glass, two glasses of water is going to do. No. If you drink a glass of water and you still can't piss, that, that's your body's kind of telling you you're dehydrated anymore. Because your body's going to keep on absorbing that water until it has an excess, excess water to pee out. That's really what the science is. <laughs> but nah, I don't want to talk too much about peep. Right? There's a few other things I want. Uh, it's been on my mind lately. Nah, well, it's not bad, but ah, man, just with th this whole riot things, guys, like, I'm going to be honest. This is all me right here. I get the whole police brutality thing. Definitely. I'm for all that. Let's get some reform in uh, in our justice system. Let's let's make let's try to hold cops more accountable. Let's, you know, not just him, all cops, anybody, you know, let's not make it easy for anybody to be a cop. Let's make sure that uh, they go through their per proper trainings because i'm gonna tell you this that man was already handcuffed there's no need to put your knee on his neck 
Put the put your knee on his back. Put your knee behind his thigh or something on his butt. He's already, that man's already handcuffed. He cannot move. Why do you have your knee on the neck? Only reason you have it there is you want to inflict damage. You want to inflict some pain into him. That's really the only fucking way why you're doing that. But that's not the point I want to get to. Enough with these rioting and lootings, guys. If this is so much about this man. If this is about that man. Why are you looting businesses? Why are you stealing from businesses? Why are you destroying your city? Why are you destroying businesses? Why are you destroying all these buildings? Why are you destroying all these cars and breaking windows? It does not make sense. That's not that's not how you protest the wrongful death. Why are you punishing another person's business? They had nothing to do with it. If this is really about George Floyd, go protest in front of the police department. Go protest to the city hall, the city council. Go protest in your local government. Why are you destroying businesses? That makes no fucking sense. Are you fucking retarded? To even say looting those businesses, to even break into those windows, to say that's for George Floyd, you are doing him a dis. So you're not even doing it in his honor. You're not. So don't say that's a protest. That's a fucking riot and that's not for him. You're being selfish. If it wasn't really for him, give all the stuff you guys take to, to his family. If it was for him. But it's not because you guys are selfish. And you guys are destroying businesses, destroying um, parts of the city, destroying all this. That's going to require more money to clean up. It's going to require so much manpower to fucking clean up. Stop being kids. Seriously. Stop acting like fucking children. Stop, stop blocking the fucking highways. Lord have mercy. If you get ran over, that's your fucking fault. Why the fuck are you even blocking the, the the highway, the freeway, when people have shit to do? People have to go to work, pick up their kids. There's shit that people have to do. Don't get the fucking, don't get in the fucking way. Don't block that. If you want to block one lane, cool. That's your right. Block that lane. It's also your right to block all lanes, but also don't fucking complain when you get ran over because people have places to go, things to do, money to make. It's that simple. Why the fuck are you blocking? All right. If this is really about George Floyd, you don't have to do that. Just go to the city council. So many places to go. Like I just saw a video of a, of a semi who, who ran through a crowd. But if you look at the video, he's honking the whole way as he's going. And you can kind of see him start to, you can see him slow down. But he, what do you expect that trailer to slow down fast? People have work to do. All right. He has family to feed. Don't slow his fucking work down. Don't make it harder on him. What does he have to do? Don't block the freeways. If you want to freaking protest, go protest in front of your police department, city halls. Go to the state capitol. Go where they make the laws. Go protest there. Because blocking these people's way, blocking all this traffic and creating problems for others, is um, it's not the way anymore. And especially when you're, you're when you're doing it with violence. Yeah, I get you know he was killed, but you know what? Let's go let's go back to the civil rights and Martin Luther King. What they went through was worse than what we're going through right now. Yeah, it's still alive and well, but is it as bad as it was in the '60s? Have any of you guys ever seen the Mississippi burning? Have you guys ever done more research on civil rights? How many people didn't die and how many times cops were let go or even looked as heroes, weren't prosecuted? How many African-Americans weren't arrested just by sitting at a restaurant? How many African-Americans weren't allowed to do this or do that? Hmm. Or should we uh, go back to... I don't know. There's many things you can look at during the civil rights movement that that's way worse than today. Cops were known to be part of the KKK. Cops were known to protect the KKK. Cops were known to be part of the KKK. 
You don't hear much of that now. Why? Because we live in, we are living in better times. Yeah, though. Though um, though this has happened and it shouldn't, but sometimes mistakes must uh, be made in order to to learn where, where where we have to fix the loophole or where we have to fix certain parts in our justice system or in our um, recruitment of our officers. And I'm going to be honest, too. I saw some shit I didn't like. One, why the hell, if you're living on this side, why are you going to burn the American flag and say, fuck the USA, when you're living in this god, in this fucking country? I'm not a patriotic person, but at the same time, I, I don't like hypocrisy. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. I love the USA. But at the same time, I'm going to critique it. I'm going to say all whatever I say on patriotism, whatever the fuck it is. But I'm never going to curse any other country. Why? Because look at the opportunities that has given you. Some of you guys act too much like fucking children. You guys think the world owes you something. You think this, you think that. No, stop being a fucking pussy and deal with it. If you don't like something, go to the voting booth and change something. You don't like something, be part of the... Be part of the system. Change it within. You can change whatever you don't like in multiple ways. One, you go to the voting booth. Take certain people you don't like, you, you, that shouldn't be in office or shouldn't be holding a, a, a city, um, I don't know, a, a, a seat in the city council or whatever. Vote them out. You can do that. And if not, Try to be in that seat so you can make sure the change is seen. Don't go complaining about it. It's like when people don't vote and they complain that somebody won president. I'm sorry. If you didn't vote, don't complain about someone who, who won. The person you were going for didn't win. Don't complain. You didn't fucking vote. So why the fuck are you complaining? Seriously. If you didn't vote, what, what the fuck are you complaining? It's like... You being mad that you lost, but you didn't play. You had a chance to play, but you decided not to play. And now you're mad because you lost. Why the fuck are you going to be mad? You had a chance to play. You're going to be mad at, at, at your teammates that, that, that you didn't win because you didn't want to play? No. Oh, take some fucking responsibility for this shit. And enough with this, all this other shit, bro, burning the flag. Why the fuck are you burning the flag, bro? Stop being stupid. That same flag you burn is the same flag that's giving you the opportunities that, that, that you are living in this, on this side. A lot of people died for you, for you, for your stupid ass to be here. All right. I'm not saying that this country is fucking perfect. I'm far beyond saying that, but I'm saying also learn some fucking gratitude. All right. Learn to be grateful. And also stop thinking that anybody owes you anything. Everybody nowadays loves to think that the fuck that life or the world owes them something. That the country owes them something. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you fucking anything. The only thing that life owes you is nothing. Even if I said that. Though I said that life don't owe, <laughs> it doesn't owe you shit, bro. The only thing, the only thing you can really do is just work for what the fuck you want. If you think it's gonna fall in your lap, you're fucking mistaken. I see this shit way too often. Too many people don't want to fucking work. Don't people 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 want to expect that opportunities just fall in your laps. Opportunity falls for those who look for it, for those who work for it. Opportunity will be there. It may not be there tomorrow. It may not be there. In a week, a month, a year, five years, ten years, twenty years. But it is there. You have to keep searching. Keep working for it. You you can't be expecting everything. You can't expect nothing because nothing should be promised to you. Do I expect anything? No. I barely freaking... <sighs> I am barely freaking asking for anything because I don't deserve anything I have. I don't I don't feel like I deserve nothing. 
the stuff I, I bought and worked hard for. I don't even feel like I deserve it. I don't feel like I deserve anything. I feel like I'm a piece of shit. I don't deserve nothing. There's people out there that have gone through worse shit than me. Why the why, why do I get to why, why do I get to 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 enjoy this? Don't get me wrong, I fucking am, and I'm grateful that I'm enjoying this. But I'm also gonna be real. I have no room to complain. I am the master of my own destiny. No one is. I am the master of my health. No one else is. I am the master of my education. No one else is. I am the master of my journey. No one else is. The moment you you, you think life, life owes you something. The moment you think that people should... Oh, that that some something or someone owes you something. The moment you think that in my eyes, I feel like you're not you're not creating your own destiny. You're not you're not your own person. You belong to who has ever given that to you, rather than you giving it to yourself. If I am the master of my own destiny, then I am in control of my actions. I see the consequences as ahead, but I also see the reward that comes with anything, as well as the consequences. If I'm ex- if I expect something, if I expect it to be there because I deserve it, in my for me, I feel like I'm I'm not the master of myself. I am not the master of my life. I am but a pawn. I am but a slave. So I mean, you need to get away from that slave mentality, that 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 mentality where someone con- controls you or, or does anything. Learn how to be your own destiny. Learn how to be your own. Learn how to create your own path. I know too many people settle, especially, especially uh, that I mentioned that path. A lot of people settle in this life. A lot of people settle for just 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 for whatever is better than what they have now rather than go for the greatness that resides in them rather than really chase what what's inside of them you know people settle you know we all have dreams if your dream is for, is for an officer then you know what then that is your dream you didn't settle and i'm glad you didn't settle you know but i feel we're all destined for something great but some of us don't want to put in that hard work. Some of us don't want to put in those, those years of pain, those years of sacrifice. We just settle for something that is a for sure. I can settle for it for sure. I can join the academy, be a cop, CHP, you know, all the, all that other good stuff. But I don't because I know what I, what I'm capable of. I know where I can go. I know where I am going. I see my destination, but I, I don't see the journey because the journey comes little by little, comes day by day. My destination, I see it. I see where I'm going to end up. I see where where my angle is, but the journey is, is unknown. The reason I say that, it's kind of like, it's like... <sighs> I can Oh, you want? Know yeah, uh, perfect. Right here. It's like me looking at the sequoia mountains and the sequoia trees. I see that. That is my goal. I see it from here. But I do not know what lies between me and the mountain. I don't see that that river that's that, that's gonna almost drown me. I don't see that snake that almost bites me. I don't see that bear that almost tries to eat me. I don't see it from here. I only see my angle. But I know just by seeing it, I know it's going to be a rough road. I can tell. I I, I know it is because it's not going to be easy. Goals aren't walking the parks. Goals are not a piece of cake that you eat. Nah. The goal, the dream... It is more like, I don't know, 
eating a fucking delicious ass wing, but hot as fucking fuck. Hot as hell, but it tastes fucking delicious. But god damn, that's just burning your mouth. And then you're going to feel it later when it comes out. That was a weird analogy, but I'm not going to lie. I'm also fucking hungry, so please do not judge me, all right? I'm a fat boy at heart, all right? I'm going to tell you, I'm a fat boy at heart, all right? You already know this. And if you don't, well, now you'll fucking know. And learn how to pay attention, all right? If you can't listen to what I'm saying, get the fat out of your ears and listen. <laughs> no, I'm joking with you on that one, guys. But, 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 um, but yeah, you know, especially with these riots, man, like, why are you destroying someone's business? Why are you doing all this? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, we literally, if we go back to, if we look at the, to the times of Martin Luther King Jr., they had it way worse than, than, than what we do now. The colored people of back then had it way worse than we we than we do right now. If we think racism is bad today, prejudice is is bad today, it was even worse back then. It was way worse back then. We can deal with what it is now because I don't believe in idea, especially like racism will forever disappear. I don't believe it can it can really disappear because it's it's a it's a thought, it's a way of life, it's a belief. That I am my genetics are superior to yours, and my people are superior to yours. That your people are an inferior. That's a belief system. I don't think it can ever disappear completely. I don't think racism will ever compare, uh, disappear completely. It's like the flu, or it's like. I don't know, some other type of virus or something that comes and goes, comes and goes, that never really dies. And sometimes it can come back stronger. That's really what it is. Racism is a virus. It's a disease. It's a disease like cancer. It can disappear, but at the same time, it can show up out of nowhere. And we're getting a piece of it now. But does that mean we should loot, beat people up, and rob businesses, rob rob all these places? I'm going to be honest. People can say, oh... That's a business, you know, they got insurance. Yeah, they got insurance and all that. But guess who doesn't have insurance? The people who work at that area. The people who work in the store don't have insurance. They're not going to be paid for the time they don't work. They're going to have to go on unemployment. Yeah, unemployment might be good. You get an extra four, or $600 on top of that, but that's only for four months. After the four months is gone, then you don't get that extra 600 It goes back to, to normal. So have some consideration before you loot, before you steal from all these places, before you try to burn down a business. You may think you're affecting one person, but in reality, you're affecting everybody that 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 place employs. Or because you think that you're doing it for an idea, which in reality, the idea is not the idea isn't creating more harm, destroying more, costing more money and damages. That's not that's not the the reason. The reason is police brutality. Go protest in front of the police department. Go to all of them and protest. Don't go around looting, destroying other people's businesses that they worked hard for. Because they employ a lot of other people. Now you're messing with their money. If you do that to me and you mess with my money, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's fucking ridiculous. Grow the fuck up. Learn how to use your brain. Stop stop taking everything so rationally. Fucking think for once. You know? People think that fucking life is simple. Life life is fucking confusing. You always got to use your brain to, to to decipher anything. Life is life sometimes will give you the answer like a piece of cake, but the majority of the time life is going to give you the answer like like a pretzel. With all those twists and turns, but it's all connected to one. You know? But um, but I one thing I am glad, though, that it seems like <laughs> for this instant, people forgot about Corona. But I'm hoping that everything starts to go back to normal and we're able to open gyms and all that and uh, really get the economy going again. Because, you know, I take a really bad hit, but also I want to... Uh, I want to start hitting the weights, man, because I got a little fucking, I got, I felt like I got chunky, 
you know, I lost weight, but then I started feeling like a little heavy, but that's why I started running, but now I feel good. So I'm hoping everything gets back to normal guys, but also, um, let's just learn how to be more and more, more, uh, passionate and understanding, especially for, for other people, especially other cops, you know, not all cops are bad. If you think all cops are bad, then you're an idiot. That's like saying all, all Mexicans are, are lazy. I'm Mexican. I know that ain't true. It's like saying all white people are racist. That ain't fucking true. So why would we even say that 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 um, all cops are evil, all cops are bad? You know, it's ridiculous because there's ba- good and bad in everything. No one's, no one, no one is innocent. No one is an absolute the best person. Even lawyers are scumbags. But you get lawyers that are nice. Lawyers actually try to help people. Same as politicians. Not all politicians are bad. You you do have those good ones. It's in any little freaking thing. The good and bad will always exist. But the bad will only prevail when the good doesn't do anything. Evil prevails when good fails to act. That's really what it is in turns. But but guys, thank you for this rant. Thank you for all those listening, whoever listened. If you're not if no one is listening, then no one is listening. Who gives a shit? I don't give a damn. I fucking enjoy this. You know, but I do feel like this fucking episode was a little bit slow. I think I talked too much slow, man. I don't know if that was because I really want to talk about this and really want to get my ideas clear or because I was also half hungry and thinking about food. Like, I'm not going to lie. Lasagna and pizza sounds fucking delicious right now. And some wings from fucking Wingstop. Habanero barbecue. Yeah. That sounds fucking delicious. I think I'm going to eat that tomorrow. My fat ass is fucking hungry. But I'm going to tell you this, guys. Because I said it, well, because now I'm saying it, because it just came to my mind, especially saying out after I was hungry. One thing I did research and I had to go through, and I went through this, and so I'm, I learned this through bad experience. Do not eat, do not eat a big meal, whatever it is. Do not eat and then go to sleep or take a nap. Do make sure you walk for at least two to three hours, because if you let that food uh, just sit there while you're napping, you're not moving. It can create a, a stomach virus, and next you know you're stuck having to throw up and have the shit at the same time. That happened to me. I think it was like a year or two years ago during uh, during Thanksgiving. It was actually before. Yeah, it was like a day before Thanksgiving. All right, because you know I remember for for a while I was always like sometimes eating, taking a nap. I was also doing this, taking a nap after eating a big meal or doing this other stuff. So at that time. When I was doing all that, you know, I would, I would um, I would take a nap. So a lot of the food would just stay there, and and uh, and for like two two weeks, I was feeling I was waking up like shit. My every time I'd wake up, my legs felt like jello. Every time I woke up, I felt like I wasn't um one hundred percent. I always felt like like um my legs felt woozy, felt like jello. Like I I couldn't fucking really stand straight in the morning. So. You know, I'd always have to wait, drink some water or coffee or tea, and then I'd feel I'd feel back to normal. I remember this one time I had to go to San Sacramento and come back. So I did that, had a bang, which is an energy drink. Drank that, and then by well, when I got back, like around seven in the morning, eight in the morning, I, I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, and then when I when uh, I woke up like two hours later, Lord have mercy, and I th- I, I I threw up. But as I was throwing up, I had to clench my butt, my butt cheeks, because I felt something was coming if I didn't do that, you know, and that shit sucked because that shit lasted for for at least two to three days, man. And man, I just felt like crap. I couldn't hold anything down. I'd drink water, throw it up. Gatorade, throw it up. I'd eat soup, throw it up. Whatever it was, I'd throw it up, still have the shits. I was beyond dehydrated. Lord have mercy. Uh, And then ended up being like a stomach virus when I went to the doctor. And then I started realizing and I started doing more research. And um, the thing is when you eat and then you go to sleep or you go lay down and you don't walk, the thing about that is you're leaving a lot of that food in your stomach. You know, I mean, some food already has uh, bacteria. Some food already has some uh, some sort of like uh, live organism. So when you leave it there and it's not it's not it's not going down. It's like if you leave food out. At 90 degrees, by the next day, that food's already spoiled. So the same thing kind of happens in your stomach. And next, you know, it creates a stomach virus. So that's one definitely big tip I have to say, especially after eating anything big. Do not lay down. Don't sit down. Don't 
uh, take a nap. Don't even go to sleep with a full stomach because in the end, that, that's bad for your stomach, you know, and one day I will catch up to you. So my suggestion is if, if you go to sleep around 9, 10, or 11, if you go to sleep at 9, don't eat anything past 6, 6.30. If you go to sleep at 10, don't eat anything past 7.30 or 7. If you go to sleep at 11, don't eat anything past 9 or 8.30. All right? Definitely take that from me. And I'm going to tell you this. That happened to me more than once because I didn't learn the first time because I was an idiot. And I'm a guy. So for some reason, we fucking don't learn the first time. We're fucking beyond idiots. All right? But def- thank you guys for listening. Ah, fuck, I can't fucking speak right now. Thank you guys for listening. Whoever's listening, if no one's listening, well, so be it. But I fucking enjoy this. Hope you guys have a the great rest of your night. Go to sleep. Get some sleep. Make sure you get the proper rest. But as always... Greatness is one day at a time, guys. Greatness is one day at a time. And remember, you're fucking royalty. Act like it. All right? Get off your ass. Get to fucking work. All right? So, guys, love you guys. And have a good night. Sleep tight. (laughs) Bye.